So one of the things we announced yesterday was the creation of a workforce skills gap cabinet, which is made up of, not surprisingly, our Secretary of Education, our Secretary of Economic Affairs, and our Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development. They are going to work quickly to put together a set of goals and metrics um, and tasks, and then dive into building uh, a far more aggressive and focused and precise effort to make sure that what we're doing with all of our workforce development and training activities and what we're doing with our career and technical schools and what we're doing with our K-12 institutions and our community colleges is actually going to translate into employment for people when they come out the other end of this. And one of the things that Secretary Pizer, who's the Secretary of Education, said yesterday, he said, this one really at this point, it is a lot less about policy and a lot more about follow-through execution, collaboration, and coordination. And I agree with them on that one. And I can tell you that we are going to focus aggressively on this because it kills me to be out there talking to people in one part of a community who are having trouble finding work, paying their bills, feeding their family, and then be in some other part of that community and running into employers who are saying to me, I'm not looking to hire rocket scientists. I just need people with a certain level of skill um, and we can take it from there and having such a hard time filling those jobs. We have got to make Massachusetts a place where those kinds of conversations simply don't happen.